me because you know i've been gone for a minute you know me and mark been out here zuckerberg been out here beefing in these streets <laughs> you know but hey i'm back you know saying he blocked me all the time and you know i wasn't supposed to be gone that long you know but you know facebook is my platform to get my stuff up out here but mark wasn't having that with me which I do not understand. Let me talk about it. I do not understand the fact of the matter is my content is not that bad. What well, I need to be blocked. Now, I have friends who content is off the train and them motherfuckers never be blocked. But me, little old me, Mark blocks me all the time. Josh content off the chain. But she's been blocked a few times, but not as much as me. And her content is worse than mine. Okay. Tree content off the chain. She's been blocked a few times, but not as much as me. You know what I'm saying? Uh hello. Content off the chain. That nigga be talking about people, kids, the gay community, everything. <laughs> that nigga ain't never been blocked. Yeah, Mark got stuff going on. I'm in one side. He had posted stuff. I had to call him and be like, um, you about to get blocked. I was waiting on dude to get blocked. I was waiting on him to get blocked. And I was praying for his downfall. I really was. I was praying for Tello's downfall. <laughs> and that nigga still didn't get blocked. And I just feel like him, Mark got some side deal going on or something because baby uh <laughs> look I'm telling you, everybody says, <laughs> I don't like the fact that he be blocking me for long periods of time. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't like that at all but I am back and I am happy. I am Fantastic. I am in a good mood. I had some good sleep. I worked two jobs. I got up. Okay, so I worked. Okay, so I go live on TikTok in the morning talking about uh, the job that I had overnight at first, right? Because that shit was get Ghetto is a bit. Okay, so <laughs> like is government property and it was shoes out there you know it was um people be bringing it to cars like it'd be like 200 cars broken into uh since i've been there in the two months i was there it, it be the people got bad attitudes you know how us black folks is you know we walk around with a chip on our shoulder you know so uh bad attitudes and stuff like that so um I got up out of there, right? So I had got another job at security. That's why I was working security. And I got another job at security overnight. You know, I, I do the extra job because I want to go outside this summer. And outside is very expensive. Like it's like fifty thousand dollars just to go outside. So I have to get an extra job just to go outside and have a good time. So uh I got a new job, right? Pays more money overnight. It pays more money. And I'm just sitting, I'm sitting at this really nice hotel. It's really beautiful. It's really nice. I'm like, oh, this is nice. These rooms gotta be real expensive, but I don't think they're expensive like that. So it's a bunch of napkin colored people like had events and stuff there. And um last night was my second night, right? 
I kid you not. I sat in that lobby from uh, my shift started 11. I sat in that lobby from 11 to 1, right? I said, okay, it's, it's calmed down. The event's over. Everybody left. It was kind of like three people in the lobby or whatever. And I said, let me go outside because it's cold. You know, I don't have a coat. I don't have a coat because I don't bring one because it's like 97 degrees outside here, right? So uh, I I didn't bring cold, but it's cold in the lobby. So I said I'm step outside for a minute. So I step outside. I was gone ten freaking minutes. I walk back into the building, and I look. It's two people rolling around fighting on the floor. Mind you, I'm the only security guard in this building now. The other, the other security guy, he's a little white man. Okay, napkin color. I, I don't know, like, what's politically correct, but this is my show. I don't even give a fuck. But is it, he's, he's another security guy, but he drives around the parking lot, right? And he's standing, and he see them fighting. Now, it's a napkin color man, and it's a, 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 <laughs> a black man, right? He see them rolling around on the floor fighting, right? So he's standing in the hallway and he, as I walk in, he looks at me and he's like, he's pointed like, so I go in and I'm just looking like, I can't believe these people is fighting in this nice hotel in this lobby like this, right? So the white lady screaming, can y'all do y'all fucking job? And I'm looking at her like, the fuck you hope you I was just going to let the side of tail out. <laughs> I don't be getting in the middle of people beefs. <laughs> I don't know what they fight for. Like, so look, so I'm like, okay, after I watch them for a little bit, I'll walk over or whatever. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking, so the white man is sitting on the black dude. The black dude got the white man's collar. <laughs> And the white man was like, let me go, let me go. The black dude name was Jabari, right? <laughs> I don't get the white man. The black dude name is Jabari. So Jabari, you can tell he was on stuff. Man, you, he was a nice looking man. And uh, he was a nice looking man. And he, um, he, he was dressed in a suit. That's what I was saying. He was dressed in a suit. I lost my case. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm old. So he was dressed in a suit and uh, he's laying on the ground and he's mumbling something. He's mumbling something. He's mumbling something, right? So I tell Javari, I'm like, Javari, let, let, the, let the man go. Like, because he got him. So he like, I'm like, let the man go. You know what I'm saying? So they not call the police. Police take forever to get there. Like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And the two white ladies just screaming, they just let him go! They let him go! So, so, Jabari ended up letting the men go. The white men get up. Jabari get up. I jump in the middle. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I don't be worried about nobody hitting me or nothing, you know? I used to do this at the bar I went to, you know, uh, breaking up these niggas fighting and stuff like that because security used to be scary. <laughs> That's another story. But anyway, <laughs> So I jump in front of them and I get to talk to Jabari and I'm like, Jabari, look, calm down. You know, you got to understand you a black man in this situation. You know what I'm saying? These, you are fighting in here with these white folks, okay? When police get in here, I'm going to need you to be calm because, you know, if you all are raped and stuff, they're going to take you to jail. Right? Hold on. Yeah. Okay, they gonna take you to jail, right? So, uh, Jabari's like, you know, he get he gets the comment down. He's like, you right, you right, you right, you right, or whatever. And uh, I just had to tell y'all the story because it's so funny to me. So, uh, he like, you right. So he started talking about something like, I I'm a police officer, this and that, and then he. He was sorry, so, so the police end up coming, right? You know, the two black men or whatever. 
and which I was kind of glad to see because this white man they took his ass to jail. So the two black men, so the one black man, uh, black police officer was like, um, who do I talk to? And everybody pointed to me like, how are you like that? So uh, he pulled me to the side or whatever. And he was like, what happened? So I told him what I what I said. So it started with Jabari, Jabari was supposed to have hit the napkin cut lady. Like he was asleep at the table. And I don't know what happened again. Like I said, I walked outside, but he sub- allegedly <laughs> hit the napkin color lady, you know, and the napkin color man was defending the napkin color lady. So that that's n- near here or there or whatever. So uh, I was telling them or whatever, the police officer or whatever, and um. Javari's just over there talking, 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 and I'm like, oh, I wish he shut up because they're going to take him to jail. Now, Javari has a room in the hotel, so I, I just think he just needs to sleep it off. Like, he needs to just go and sleep shit off. He's not got a damn twist for shit. Like, he needs to just go and sleep it off. But um, he's just talking, 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 talking. So the police, I was like, go see uh, what room he in. So he kept, because Javari kept giving us the wrong room, you know, or whatever. So we get... Um, to the desk and uh Jabari, he gets loud again. And the police, he's talking shit to the police, and the police try to be nice because they don't want to do the paperwork. Everybody's drunk. They really don't want to do this paperwork. So they trying to not take him to jail, right? Jabari's like, man, I don't give a fuck about y'all take me to jail. I'm a motherfucking police officer. What y'all gonna do? Like, y'all want some cocktail? Like he just going off with that. We found out what room he in. The police. Javari's like, fuck the police, fuck y'all. <laughs> police like, that's it, I'm taking your ass to jail. <laughs> I said, no, see, Javari. See what you got me. <laughs> you could have had your ass up there in your room, sleep. <laughs> and now you going to jail. Javari's like, oh, I don't care, I don't care about going to jail. Police like, you don't shut up. I'm going to take you to jail. So they had end up taking him to his room, but they ain't taking jail. But I just had to tell y'all this story. This is my second day. I don't know what's going to happen tonight. I hope tonight be smooth because it's Sunday night. But anyways, I just had to get that up out the way. But I don't know if he put my topic on here, but he didn't. So this is going to be a Q&A also um, if you come in. This is going to be a QA. and uh, a What I am talking about is forgiveness and forget okay what people don't understand is it's a difference okay mm-hmm. it's a difference between forgiveness and forgetting um that's what people have a problem with with me okay um forgiveness with me and this is my experience and this is how I am. Now, everybody is not like me, but I, this is how I keep my peace in my life, okay? (laughs) But this is what I think about forgiving and forgetting, okay? I forgive people, I forgive people for me, not for you, because if I cut you out of my life, you had to de- do some fucked up shit to me, right? Because I don't usually cut people off, but, and I give chances, you know what I'm saying? But if you did some fucked up shit to me while well, I and me think it's unforgivable to me, then I'm cutting you off. Now, don't get me wrong. I will forgive you over time. You know, me, I'm a grudge holder. <laughs> Definitely a grudge holder. You know what I'm saying? And I I grudge hold because again, I give you chances. We not we haven't fallen out just once. We not have fallen out twice. We fallen out multiple times. Unless it's disrespectful. And then I just cut you off right then. That I don't deal with no disrespect on no level. But um, with 
somebody that I'm close to, you know what I'm saying, that do some fucked up shit to me, I cut you off. Now, I hold the grudge for a long time. When I mean long time, it be like fucking years. I'm going to block you on everything. I'm, I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want no parts of you whatsoever. Like, you fucking dead to me type shit. Like, and I had a funeral in my head for you. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, uh, it takes me a while to forgive, you know? And don't get me wrong, these people that I could all be trying to come back into my space, and I just, you know what I'm saying, don't want that energy, you know what I'm saying? Because it'd be the betrayal and the trust for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I can't trust you, I don't want you around me. If you stabbed me in the back or did some fucked up shit to me where I just can't trust you to be in my presence, I don't want you around me. I'm very of a person that will ask you if somebody invite me to something and I will ask the person who's going to be there because I will not show up if somebody that I don't fuck with going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, I can be not forgave this person, but I don't forget shit, okay? And when it's a fucked up shit, people like, you need to forgive. I did forgive. I did. I forgive to a point where when I see you, I won't beat your ass. I forgive to a point where if I come in a space with you, with you where we have to be in that space together, that I will be cordial where I have to be in a space with you. And that's like funerals or weddings that I have to be at. You know what I'm saying? I might not stay long. I'm going to leave after the ceremony or something like that, but <laughs> I like spaces of that nature. Like I have to be there, but uh, but because I can't forget what you've done and I just don't want that energy in my space. I don't do um, betrayal. I don't do people betraying my trust. I don't do miss. Like, I don't do that. You know, my life is very peaceful right, for, right, right now. Like, I don't have any drama. I don't have any bullshit. I'm not beefing with nobody. I'm not in anybody's mess. Nobody knows anything about my life unless I speak on it. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's the environment I set for myself by eliminating people out of my life. Well, it's the truth. Like some people can't go with you on your journey. Some people can't be in your life in these seasons that's coming and or that you're in. You know, you're gonna drop a lot of folks, you know what I'm saying? Um, as you elevate in your life as you're moving along, because some people are stagnant and where they are in their lives, and when they see you trying to move along or move forward, they they don't like it. You know, they find any way to try to, you know, talk about your character. I had put a post up not too long ago where um, I said, I'm not the same person I was years ago. I'm not I'm probably not the same person I was last year. At the end of the day, we meet new people, we learn new things, we evolve in it evolve in a year's time. You know, your attitude change, the piece some of the people that you hang around, you're not hanging around anymore. So the way you move change, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you know, people can't adjust to you changing. They always stuck on what you used to be, you know, and um, that's all they can say about you. Now, me, I have a past. If y'all have watched my podcast before, 
I have a serious past. Somebody told me I need to write a book. I am thinking about it. I have to find somebody where I can tell my story to and they write the book. But anyway, let's go back to, you know, I have a past. And because people don't know, really know about my life now, unless I tell them. I learn to keep people out of my life unless I tell you is because people use your words against you. And this is where I say, I don't forget. I will forgive. People will use your lifestyle or the way you live against you. You know what I'm saying? And so some things, you know, people don't know. I spend most of my time, 90% of my time alone. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of things I don't talk about because I just feel like it's nobody's business. You know what I'm saying? I live my life the way I want to live it. I really don't care what people think, but some things, you know, I just don't talk about or deal with. You know what I'm saying? Unless me and my friends are talking and we get into some serious deep conversations and then I might bring a few things up, but these are the people I trust. You know what I'm saying? These are the people that I know that will take my secrets to the grave with them. Uh, I have this one friend. Me and her used to get into it all the time. Like, this is how you know when you have real friends, when y'all argue, okay? Me and her used to argue all the time around her birthday, okay? Because I try to be at most of her birthdays unless she's um, uh, going out of town or something with her other friends and stuff like that. So, but when she has her birthday parties uh, and her birthday's event, I try to be there and she invites people that I don't want to be around. Okay. So that be the argument right there because she feel like as me being her friend, I should be there. But you, I feel like I'm not going to give you what you expect out of me when I come there because I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm still, I'm fucked. You know, so people be warning me at they, you know, shindies and stuff. I'm fucked. So I'm not going to be able to give you what you want from me at your birthday because I'm irritated that you got these folks here. Now, she feel like <laughs> that it doesn't matter. You're my friend. You need to be here. Okay. She has two events. She has um, one on Friday and she has one on Saturday. So I tell her, I say, look, you invite them to one and invite me to the other. You know, that's the simple, you know, you did. When I say this girl, you, my friend, I love her to death. We used to argue so bad. Like it never been to a point of disrespect where we called each other out each other's names. But we cussing and we fussing and we trying to get the point across. And we're not on the phone. We're texting. We're testing and we're going at it or whatever, whatever. And I end up still going to, I still end up not going to the event with those people, but still going to a, another event. Like she'll come back and like, okay, well, I'm going to invite them to this and you can come to this. And I'm, boom, okay, boom. Later on, you know what I'm saying? We enjoy the party, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't even had the argument. We enjoy the party or whatever, but afterwards, a couple days later, we apologize, like, you know what I'm saying? And we had calmer heads. Now, now we're saying to each other, okay, I get where you coming from, you know, type shit. And, you know, you got to get where I'm coming from. I'm very big on my space and my energy. <laughs> and that's what people don't. I forgive those folks. I do. I forgive them because if I don't, I will have a problem. I just choose not to forget. 
and I choose not to have that energy in my space. You know what I'm saying? I can't enjoy you like I want to with them there. You know what I'm saying? Because it'll be always some mess or some bullshit, and I don't want, you know what I'm saying, none of that energy in my space. And that that's where it comes from. When people try, and it's just not, she realized that. Now she only, she invited me to, she understand just to invite me to events, you know, where, with people that I mess with. She understand that now. So that's, that's fine. But it's people that try to force me to be in spaces with people that I don't want to be in spaces with. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just I'm being an asshole. It's me protecting me. You know, I have did a lot of work on myself. Like, y'all just don't know how much work I did on myself to get me to this point with the help of God <laughs> and stuff is just like I'm a whole different person. That's why y'all when I say y'all can't hold me to what I used to be because y'all got to understand back then I was lost. I was mentally insane. I was unhappy. I was insecure, damn near depressed all the time. I was smoking cigarettes. That's the nastiest habit you can get that damn have. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was just sloppy. I was fat and sloppy. Nasty. It was just, ugh, I was horrible. You can't hold me to that. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I didn't give a care about myself back then. And people still try to hold me to, even, people still try to hold me to my teenage days. I was a world teenager. Yes, I was. You know, I was. But I am 43 years old now, okay? I am not the same person. I'm, I'm very different. I live different. I move different. I have I mean, new people all the time, you know, that's in my life, you know, all the time. So y'all got to understand, like, for me, me having the space and the energy that I have and the people I choose to keep around me is for me, my mental health, to keep me sane, to keep me not going from zero to 5,032 and 2.3 seconds. You know, because that's that that I always tell people like y'all don't want to see me get up. Don't pull that out of me because I don't want to go back to that person. And you know, that's why I say forgiveness, I can give you that. You know what I'm saying? And it's technically not for you because I don't think about you. It's for me. It I once I forgive you. You're not existent to me. I don't want no part to you. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't forget. But when I see you, I don't. I will never forget what you've done to me. You know what I'm saying? I will never forget how you treated me. I will never forget how you did me. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a difference. People think because you forgave them, you forgot about that bullshit. No, it's a difference. It's a difference. I forgive you. I gave you a funeral. You're that to me. <laughs> I will never talk to you again. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? I am not to be in the space with you. I speak and keep it moving. We're not sitting there having that. <laughs> I don't do the phony and fake shit. <laughs> no. Um, but I will let you know, like, you're not invited to anything that I'm having. Uh, I will not be calling, texting, or anything with you. You're dead to me. I forgave you for me, for my peace and my sanity, but I I don't forget. And it's a different people think because you forgave them that 
you supposed to let them back into your life. No. I'm a person. If I don't fuck with you in life, I'm not fucking with you in death. <laughs> I will not be at nobody's funeral. <laughs> don't even try to come to mass. Okay? You're not invited. <laughs> That's just what it is. <laughs> And not invited. And my friends already know. And my family already know who can come and who can't. <laughs> You're not invited to my funeral. And I hope I'm not invited to yours because I would not be there. <laughs> I said that, and you know, God, I speak with God about it. Everybody like you, you as a child of God, and you, you, I forgive. I forgive, but it's a difference of forgiving, forgiving and forgetting, and forgiving and forgetting. And that that's that's that be y'all problem. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be forgiving and let me fall back into y'all lives. And it's it's always the same mess. Always the same fucking mess. That's why it's always gonna be some messy shit going on in y'all lives. It's always gonna be. I was talking to my friend last night. I said, "Life is what you make it." You know, life is what you make it. I am very, very blessed, and I'm not meaning financially. I am meaning like I don't want or need. Well, I'm not going to say one because I want a lot of shit. But I don't need for anything. You know what I'm saying? I don't need for nothing. Everything that I need, God made sure that I, I got. You know what I'm saying? Every person that I need to be in my life, God made sure that these people are here. Everybody that don't need to be around me, one of my prayers every day is, God, if they not meant for me, if they here to harm me in any kind of way, mentally, physically, emotionally, any type of way, you see everything I don't see. Remove them. Remove them and make me not miss them. That's one prayer. That he gonna motherfuckers really show up for every time. Now he probably show up for all the other ones too. I'm not saying that, but that one right there, baby, a motherfucker be removed and I won't even miss you. I swear to God, <laughs> I don't think about it. I know that if you're not supposed to be here, he's gonna make sure you're not here. <laughs> You don't play about me. I be telling y'all because y'all don't know what I do behind closed door when it comes to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm alone 90% of the time. A lot of that time, guess what I'm doing? I'm talking to God. <laughs> He's my friend. He be sitting right next to me, y'all. That's all I'm saying. Like this. That's why when I say I used to be depressed, because y'all don't understand, like, I used to be depressed when I first got by myself. Because simple fact is, y'all got to understand, I was a teenage mother. So, you got to understand, from childhood, I had my siblings, my parents, and stuff like that. Teenage years, my parents, then I ended up getting pregnant, so I had a son. And I was still living in the household with my parents, so I was always with somebody. Then I had more kids, and... It was me and kids, then I got into like a long-term relationship. It was me and the kids and the family and everybody around us and stuff like that. So I was always with somebody. Always with somebody. Like always from childhood to adulthood, I was always with somebody. My kids, my men, you know, family, stuff like that. So when I be finally became alone. I didn't know how to handle it. You know, I didn't I didn't know what to do with myself. I 
I'm a people's person, you know. I always wanted to be around people. I always wanted to be in the middle of something. I always wanted to be in with somebody, you know. So it took me into a depression of I'm literally by myself. And I'm not thinking I'm by myself just physically like, oh, my friend's just busy right now or, you know, everybody can't be with me all the time. You know what I'm saying? It was basically I was thinking I was by myself mentally, emotionally, nobody to call, nobody to talk to, you know, type shit. So uh, that's what started actually started the podcast because it was just like, I just felt like my friends weren't really there, like my family weren't really there. That's how I was thinking, you know, even though that's not true. That's how I was thinking. So that's actually how I started the podcast. It started that way. But other than that, it's just like the life I made for myself. I just feel like people, certain people should be in it, you know? And I just feel like if they turn on you once, they'll turn on you again. And again, like I said, I'm not a person that will um, cut you out for like simple, stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have this friend that me and him stay getting into it. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't really understand me like that. And that's fine because I am a spoiled fucking stu- I'm a spoiled brat. I ain't even, I'm a brat and I'm spoiled. And some people can't handle it. You know what I'm saying? And that's fine. You know what I'm saying? I, I know what my daddy raised. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know what I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, but somebody just told me recently, like, you're a beautiful woman, but I know you, so I can't date you because I am a handful. I am. I am a spoiled <laughs> brat. I'm somebody who knows what she wants. And I I want that. Like <laughs> I want what I want. Like that's just I don't understand. I want somebody to let me be me, you know, like just let me be me, you know, and you know, not try to change me. A lot of men come to my life to try to change me because they say I talk too much. But what y'all think? I have a podcast. This is what I do. I talk for a living, you know what I'm saying? I'm nosy. I like to be in people's business. You know what I'm saying? I like to hear people's stories. I like to talk. I like to, that's how you learn about life. That's how you learn that it's more things out here than just what's going on in your your life. You know, it's other people going through shit. You know what I'm saying? So that that is why I talk and do stuff like I do. Like, you can't come in here and tell me to shut up. Like, who? You're dating the wrong person. You expect me to shut up. No. <laughs> that ain't how this work. But <laughs> that's why I came into um God. I just once I stopped looking for I mean, you know, God started to bring them along. You know, I got asked out on the date yesterday. And no, they called yesterday, and I told him, yeah, I said yes. <laughs> yeah, I told him yes. He was so excited, too. He was like, oh, my God. I'm going to, uh, I remember you said you like live music. I'm going to make a list and uh, some places we can go. And he was just so excited. He was like, he was telling me, like, I'm going to uh, make sure this day. I told him, you don't have to make sure it's perfect. He was like, I just want to make sure that you know that I paid attention to everything that you said to me. And uh, so everything, he's like, a lot of that stuff going to be incorporated into the day. And he was like, oh, I'm going to let you know, you know, the day, the time, whatever. And oh, you can meet me because I know you don't want nobody to come to your house. He you remember that. Like, I don't want nobody to come to my house. Like, <laughs> and so I call a stalker. I call a stalker. I got a stop. <laughs> so, yeah, I just, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, you can't come to my house unless I've been dating you for a long, long time, you know, and we said we're together. And that's all the time you come to my house, you know, because again, I call a stalker <laughs> and I'm not up for that shit no more. So, uh, 
yeah. So, like I said, once I stopped looking, it was just basically like, okay, and he's he's a nice guy. Like he's not the typical guy guy I will date. <laughs> like for real, like he's so proper and so it is just so. And he always he says he's like you know I I used to be a lame back in the day, which he still kind of is, but that's kind of what I need in my life, you know, you know, opposite attract. So, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, the way he talked, I was like, oh, for real, you know, like that, but I'm going to give it a try. He is younger than me, though. He is younger than me. So, but we're going to see, you know, I'm going to give it a chance because, yeah, I'm going to just do it, you know. I ain't, I dated it so long, so I just, <laughs> I was just, I was just do it. <laughs> I just go. Because <laughs> I'm kind of like, when I told him yes, it was a, it was a like pause when he asked, because I, I just looked like, because I was saying in my head, like, should I say yes, should I say yes, or should I say no, like, I got something to do, you know what I'm saying, like. You know, that's why I didn't be a lot going on in my head when people be talking to me. You know, so I was just so 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 he just say yes, like just say yes. So, <laughs> so I was like, okay. You know, girl, I'm a plus size girl, so I like to eat. So, you know, I I go, you know, but I said I was gonna start getting back out there and dating and stuff like that. So yeah, I got a date. Uh y'all. So I'm gonna talk about that and tell y'all how that went. But Ooh. Oh, oh, oh shit. That's a little strong. Mm. I can't drink a lot because I gotta go back to work. I went to work to work yesterday, but I gotta go back to work tonight. So I'm gonna be drunk. I had fried some fish. Once I had get up, I had fried some fish. Fi oh shit. I got my spaghetti and up. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, like I was saying, forgiveness and forgetting. Um, they are two different things. Um, I don't want, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say I don't want people to think because again, I don't give a fuck what people think. <laughs> I really don't. I'm at that age where, um, what people think about me, I don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody over here paying these bills. Ain't nobody over here to take care of me. You're not in my house. You're not living with me. You you don't know what's going on in my life. <laughs> so I don't give a fuck what people think about me. It'd be the prank. And that that that's that's that be the part about it with folks like people really care what people think about them man. I'm not one of those. I really don't give a fuck. You know, I'll say I walk into a room and I get spanked there as I look and look back like, you fuck. <laughs> I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> so, so I'm at that stage in my life. There's too many people out here worrying about what other people think. People that other people that think that's not even doing it better than you. That's not even on your level. That's not even, you know, worthy of being in your thoughts and y'all really care what these folks think about you <laughs> like really like real life care <laughs> and i just don't get that like i don't get it and i used to be one of the people i used to actually i wasn't because the way i used to walk around was horrible so i really didn't give a care but you know when people said things it would it did hurt my feelings and stuff like that but now it's just like you know 
Uh, the person can talk about me behind my back uh, all day long, but you got a problem with me, a real problem with me saying it to my face, so we can figure out what the fuck is the issue type shit. But uh, forgiving, like I said, forgetting, forgiving, I always get off topic, but I always come back to it. Forgiving, forgetting, forgiving, and forgetting are two different things. <laughs> Stop. Some of y'all need to stop. I feel the same way. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> TT. <laughs> TT. Honey. <laughs> Baby, we look. If you care, if you care, if people care about what it, what other people think, you'll never succeed. You'll never thrive in a way. You'll never be happy because that's how you let people dictate your life. You know what I'm saying? Like me with stuff like that, I I don't wear the Gucci. I don't wear the name brand stuff like that because, first of all, I can't afford that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm the type of person, I put shit into my home. My bills, one thing about me, my bills are going to be paid. I be broke. Dead is broke. But these lights on, my house, rent is paid. I got food in here. I'm fur it's furnished. I don't put my money into where I'm laying my head before I put it on my back just to please please y'all. Some of these folks ain't paying their bills just to please, just to put on a persona on the internet. Like y'all ain't paying y'all rent where you and your kids gotta lay. Because you're trying to look good for the internet. I'm not bad that shit. I be looking good in my little $20 outfit. My gym shoes and stuff. I don't bad that shit. <laughs> you know, somebody, I get some money for somebody. <laughs> These cute, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even wear gym shoes unless, you know, my toes not done. I ain't, I've been working so much, can't go get my feet done. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I throw some gym shoes or something. But usually, I'm in some sandals or something like that. But I, I'm, I'm not worried about what people think about me. I'm not worried about the people I let into my home. The people I let come into my home are people that I want to be around me anyway. The people that I really don't care about like that is just like I don't care. You know, and me and my friends and family are not judgmental. So, you know what I'm saying? We're we talk, but we're not judging nobody. You know what I'm saying? I hang around people that's not with that shit. And some of my guy friends got a lot of money and they really don't be with that shit. Like, hey, friend. I was talking about y'all early in the beginning. Y'all gotta watch. <laughs> y'all gotta watch the uh, <laughs> podcast over. <laughs> I was talking about. I'm talking about you, Josh and Martel. Yeah. So in the beginning. <laughs> hey, friend. But uh, my friends, me and my friends, me and me. We don't spend all our money on that neighbor and shit because the fact is, who we trying to impress? We be cute with our, our stuff. We don't give a fuck what people think about us. Fuck y'all. Shit, we got each other. My family. Don't spend that money on that shit like that. We got each other. Like, who we trying to impress? We go out, we spend our money on having fun in our households and making sure our, our households are together. You know what I'm saying? Those are the type of people I like being around. Those are the type of people I want to be around. I don't want to be around people that's only for show. You know what I'm saying? Because technically, a lot of these people that's only for show ain't really got no money. <laughs> I'm dead ass, and I know a lot of them. They ain't got no money for real. Y'all be looking up to the wrong motherfuckers. <laughs> what a God. Y'all do. Y'all really do. And I be like, man, you, I know a lot of motherfuckers because I can communicate with a lot of people. 
And a lot of these people ain't got it like y'all think they got it. For real, for real. And I be, I be sitting there like, the life you live on social media for these folks is not the life you live in real life because you care about what people think about you. I be so flabbergasted. Like, oh my fucking God. This should be fake for real. Why do y'all live y'all life for people that really don't give a shit about you? For people that's not even helping you pay for a gas bill. For to help you feed your kids, to help you pay your why do you care? Why? I, I, don't, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand it. I don't think it is. <laughs> Me, I don't give a shit about nothing. I'm the goofiest, quirkiest, clumsiest. Motherfucker, you can see, like, for real, for real, like, everything, like, you go, if you see me, you gonna see all of me now. Only certain people get to see me move my wig off. <laughs> That's my hair braided. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna say I'm perfect. I do have, you know, these edges ain't all together right, you know, but my hair has grew out. You know, I got a little fro and stuff, but y'all not ready for that yet. You know, now I might once in a blue moon pop in like, boop, just like natural hair, you know. <laughs> once in a blue moon, y'all got to catch that. Y'all got to catch that. You know, I mean, I went to get get somebody not twisted it up for me, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's cute. Natural hair. Boom, but y'all got to catch that. You know, see, y'all don't, if y'all don't watch me like that, y'all not gonna catch it. Y'all gotta catch it. Now, you go, you probably catch something in some photos if you stroll back in uh, two years or so. <laughs> but, yeah. But, other than that, it's just, I don't really give a shit. Like, but with forgiveness and forgetting my energy space, like I said, I have no issues. I keep people, once you do me dirty and me. Now, some people forgive and let people back into their lives with some shit that they shouldn't even have let these folk back into their lives with. But y'all have y'all limitations. Y'all have what y'all feel is for y'all to keep people in y'all face. Me, if I can't trust you, you gotta go. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about us having little fights and stuff like that, you know, because I argue with everybody, you know, because I be thinking I'm right all the time and I don't be. I don't be, hey, Corey, I don't be right all the time, but I do be thinking that time I be right. (laughs) So we have our little arguments, our little stats. But our arguments shouldn't go to the internet. Our arguments shouldn't go to you posting my business on social media. My arguments shouldn't go to you going out telling my friends or families things about me. My our arguments shouldn't lead to you doing all type of shit to try to diminish my character. That's what our arguments shouldn't lead to. So when you when you do that to me, our gloves are off. You're dead to me. Ain't no coming back. I don't trust you. I don't deal with people I don't trust. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. I don't deal with people I don't trust. You know what I'm saying? No. You're dead to me. Now, again, I will forgive you over time. But just because I forgave you. Don't mean I forgot and you can come back. See, people think because you forgive, they can come back into your life. No, not me. <laughs> no, not me. 
You cannot come back into my life if you done some dog ass shit to me. Right? <laughs> that's, that's, I forgave you for me. Because once I forgive you, that means I, I don't think about you anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's over with. It's dead over with. I don't give I don't even care about how you doing. <laughs> I don't even give a damn about what you want. <laughs> I haven't thought about you. And I I don't like when people try to force me to be cool with people that I don't fuck with. I don't like that. You can't force me to be cool with somebody I don't want to fuck with. That is just no, 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 no. You can't do that. That's just not, that's not, no. That pisses me off too. That that pisses me off. Like real bad. It'd be crazy because the people that I do fuck with be cool with the people I don't fuck with. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that at all. But don't make in, uh, in spaces with people I, I don't mess with. I don't understand. Nobody, I, and I'm, I don't know if people watching this or not, that, but nobody calls me. <laughs> nobody calls me at all. <laughs> on regular. But soon as I am on my podcast or on somebody's podcast, my phone blows up. Like, it blows up. And I just don't understand. Yesterday, I was doing somebody's podcast and Nobody calls me again. <laughs> Nobody calls me. Like, literally, I go days without talking to people. Like, days, probably weeks without talking to folks. Nobody calls me. But when I'm doing something, my phone blows up. Right? <laughs> and I don't think to put my phone on Do Not Disturb because nobody calls me. Again, I'm going to keep iterating it. Nobody calls me. <laughs> so I don't think to put my phone on do not stir. You know what I'm saying? But well anyways, but again I forgive for me. I don't forgive for you. I forgive for me. But I don't forget. Just because I forgave that don't mean you can come back into my space. I don't trust you. Now again, a little petty ass arguments where we arguing and stuff like that. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I argue with everybody. Like I said before, you know, I fall out with everybody. You know what I'm saying? As long as you don't, dis, uh, don't displace my trust in you when we argue. Because our arguments can be just petty ass arguments. And I have those with my friends. Like, I have those with my family. You know, I have those arguments with people, you know. And when we can come back from that without us slamming each other on social media or slamming each other on, uh, behind each other back, we can come back from stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? We're not friends. We're not family unless we fight. And you know? that's just what it is. It's what we do during that time. That, that be the thing. Like it's what we do you find out who your real friends and family is when you have an argument with them. Yeah. You find out. And that's when you need to decide if you want them folks in your life or not. Mm -hmm. Me? I cut you off. Uh, and I live my life. I live my life now to why I'm peaceful. I'm very peaceful. No drama, no mess, no issues. I go to bed happy. I wake up happy. Now again, a bad bitch have bad days. You know, sometimes my mental be off, my emotions be off. You know, I'm still grieving and stuff like that. So, you know, sometimes I have, like I said, most of my days be great. <laughs> you get this. <laughs> Yeah, most of my days be great, you know. But some of my days, I have a few days every blue moon where 
I'm not perfect and I'm not taking calls. I'm not answering calls. I'm not, I have attitude. I, you know what I'm saying? When I'm in that stage, I don't deal with folks. I, because I don't want to put that energy off on you. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to, you know, be a burden on you. I don't want to talk about it really with nobody. You know what I'm saying? So I just deal with it internally on my own, you know? So that's how I cope. But most of my life is peaceful because again, like I said, if y'all wasn't here before, I said the one prayer that God is going to move fast for is the one where you asking him to remove people from your life that's going to do you harm, that's going to talk about you, that's going that they have no good intentions towards you. That's the prayer right there that he's going to motherfucker expedite very fast. I know for a fact. I know, and make you not think about them folks at all. Make you not think about them people at all. I swear to God, he will. I swear to God. And I say that prayer every day. That's one prayer in my prayers that I say every day. God, please keep people away from me or take people out of my life that's in my life. You see everything that I don't see. If they're not good for me, remove them. Remove them. You know what you want from me. You know who you want around me. Remove them. This this me talking to God. Remove remove them. I'm not gonna have no issues with you removing them. If they make them go on about their business. <laughs> you know, make me not want to think about them. You know what I'm saying? You have to, maybe. When I say, when I say, when I say, honey, my life been peaceful ever since. I ain't gonna lie to you. You need to try. But forgiving, forgiving is not for the other person. Forgiving is definitely for you. For you. That's what forgiving is for. It's not for the other people to be, you know, it's for you. Not forgetting is a whole different thing. I don't forget shit. I don't get no, nothing nobody says to me. That's why when people try to lie about what they said. Nah, I got short-term memory loss, but I don't have long-term memory loss. But short-term memory loss come back to me now. I might, I might walk in the kitchen and be like, God damn, what I walk in here for? Come back and sit down for a little bit and then realize, oh, okay. That's my short-term memory loss. But God damn it. I remember everything somebody say to me. I remember everything somebody do to me. I never forget. And if it's some fucked up shit, you're not allowed back in my space. You're not allowed in my presence. And nobody can make me be around you. I'm that person going to ask who over there. Who that? Who going to be there? I'm not fool with them. I don't know you again. I don't want to hear it. I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> it might be something else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't have a problem with you. You know what I'm saying? I I, I will come. But if them people's <laughs> going to be there, I don't want no parts because I'm not going to give you the best of me there. I'm not going to give you again. I'm a fun time. I'm a very fun time. <laughs> very fun. You know, except if I'm high. That's why people hate when I get high. Because I'm not fun at all. I'm just stuck. Got me thinking about some crazy shit. But if I'm drinking, my personality, you know, I'm a fun time. So I understand. You know, I come. You know, but if I, I'm not going to be a fun time if I'm uncomfortable. I'm not going to be a fun time if I I don't want to be around somebody. I'm not I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that. And you forced me to be here cuz you laid that damn guilt trip on me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, like you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't going you never know this 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 this. Hey cousin. 
you never know, you know, this, 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 you know what I'm saying? You like that gift trail on me, so I got to go and be around these people, okay? Now I'm just sitting here on my phone, drinking my little drink, minding my business that the Lord gave me over in my little space. And then you study coming over to me, asking me what's wrong. You know what's wrong. You know I'm here. This is what I'm here. This is what you get. This is what you get when you force me into a situation I don't want to be in. I'm here. And this is how I'm going to sit. <sighs> Looking at my phone. Talking to myself. I'm going to leave in about an hour. I show my face. <laughs> this is what you're going to get from me when you force me into shit. <laughs> this because I'm in, in the space where I don't want to be around folks. <laughs> where I want to be around. This is what you get. That's what you're going to get from me. You know, and this is what I mean about people respecting me and my what I feel I want to be around. And what I feel, you know, who I want in my space. This is what I mean by that, you know, because either you're going to get this camera or you're going to get the outgoing fun camp where I'm comfortable. Well, I'm out here like, oh, okay, nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Keanu. <laughs> or you gonna get that one? Which one you choose? <laughs> Which one you choose? I, I just tell me, you know, and and you know, and that's why I mean, I don't mean to be bitchy, but I'm very. That's how I am. I, I that's how I am, and that's how I keep my peace. I'm not in drama. I'm not in, 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 in mess. I'm not in drama. I'm not in mess. I don't have no beef with nobody. I'm able to walk around, you know what I'm saying? Not thinking about bullshit, none of that. Stress, stress free. You know what I'm saying? I put everything in the lower hands. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't got something, like I said, I got everything I need. I might not have everything I want, but I have everything I need. I don't need for nothing. I don't need for nothing. And the life I live is pretty comfortable to me. You know, it's probably not as extravagant as, as everybody else, but it's comfortable to me because I'm not trying to please everybody else. I'm trying to please me. My space is for me and everything is about me and me being happy. Now, if I was in a relationship, it would be about us being happy you know and it's gonna be a lot of compromises that gotta come from both sides because you know me being by myself for so long you know <laughs> we don't have to figure some stuff out but i'm willing to do that with somebody that understands me and i understand them and we can talk and compromise you know make me comfortable you know but Again, forgiveness and forgetting are two different things. And just because I forgive you for my emotional and my um, sanity and for me to have peace with me, that on me, I forget and that you can just come into my space again. Now, when I have a uh, forever for you in my head and I don't wish death on nobody, I'm not wishing death on nobody, you know, because I'm not a hateful person. I'm not just to me and here you don't exist anymore. That's the way I operate. And I'm sorry because a lot of people that I have cut off be trying to come back into my life. And once that trust is gone, and that's even with a man, once that trust is gone, it's over with. I it, I can't get get I I'm not a person to act like you didn't portray, betray me. I'm not a person to act like I can't trust you. I'm not a person to act like that you won't do it again because most likely you're a multiple offender. So, yeah, uh, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. So, uh, with me, 
when I say this is me, I'm not saying this is for everybody. This is me. With me, I'm a person that everybody don't go with you on your journey. You're going to come across a lot of people in your life. And some people you just don't want to let go of. I, I have that issue sometimes too. Where some people you just don't want to let go of because you be trying like, you see the potential in them. And you see like, you know what I'm saying? And this is some people you can trust more than you can trust other people. But they just not, how can I say? They just not. there with you like you want them to be and those people you can trust them but they just can't get it right when it comes to you and you just you keep them around but it's a like it's this thing like i can go to a party and see them and be like hey and hug them and still have a good time you know what i'm saying because there's no ill will you know what i'm saying you have those, some of those people, right? You have your friends, your, your ones, twos, threes, fours. You have them, you know what I'm saying? Fives and six. You know what I'm saying? I have multiple best friends. You know, my bitches, my niggas, <laughs> my crew. Them, your ride or dies, okay? Them the ones, you wing, y'all not been through the shit. You tell everybody, you tell them your business and see how long they hold that shit. You know what I'm saying? Them the ones that you let them know before you die, when you get up there on that podium <laughs> to talk about me, don't go get out of line. Some things people don't need to know that we have done. <laughs> okay? Nah, I'm done, okay? Them your aces, them your ace blue cools, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and you have your people, you know, your associates, you know what I'm saying? You go, people invite you to places, and you're like, yeah, I come. You know, you say cool, you know. <laughs> it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh-huh. You have your family. Now, sometimes your family and your friends don't mix, okay? You got to know. You got to know who you around. Sometimes some of your friends don't mix. Like, I have besties everywhere. Some of them, I know their personality. You got to know the people. You got to know your people, okay? You got to know your people. Their personalities don't click. Because you like different people for different reasons, okay? You just can't put everybody together, you know, because some people don't click, you know, different personalities. I like different people for different reasons. I have different friends for different reasons. I have... People have different personalities for different reasons. Some people, you can't throw people because guess what? If they get into it, guess who's in the middle? You. So you got to know your people. And you don't want to choose sides because you love them all. You know what I'm saying? You love them all. So, but you're going to end up in the middle and you're going to end up falling out with somebody because they don't get along with such, 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 such. And then you end up in the middle and they swear you talking about them to them and talking. No, you can't mix. You got to know your people. Sometimes you can mix. If you got friends that get along with everybody, I'm the friend. They get along with everybody. And so them people piss me off. Now, if I see something that I don't like, I'm going to go to my friend about like this person. This, blah, 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 blah. I can't be around. I don't like them like that. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Boom. Friend, family. I have my close, my close family. My aces. My ace boom cones. You know what I'm saying? My, 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 they not just my family, they my friends. You know what I'm saying? You know, we don't talk every day, but when we do, when it's a crisis, we there. I don't play about my people. <laughs> I don't play about my people. <laughs> they call me, I'm coming. I don't care where I'm at. I don't play about my people. <laughs> my aces. You know what I'm saying? My clothes, Ace Boom Coons. Now, and it's crazy because you don't want to uh, mix bad energy. I, I was talking to this girl um, at my old job, overnight job, and she was telling me she got this friend. 
and she was said that Fred always, you know, she can't take her nowhere. She get drunk. And she get the acting stupid. She get the, you know, doing unnecessary stuff. Like her and the friend stay falling out. You know what I'm saying? The friend get disrespectful, be wanting to fight and all type of shit. And woo, woo. I tried out told her, you need to come home. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Like, people allow people in their space that cause havoc. I'm not doing that. No, I told her, you need to cut her off. No. She like, and she come back next day like ain't nothing happened. No. You need to cut her off. No. That, no. You like being around that? Like, no. If I invite you somewhere, I wouldn't want you to bring her. You know what I'm saying? I'm not good with the plus one sometimes because people like that. Like, No. But that's your friend. But when you gonna say enough is enough of her doing that to you? Because people gonna stop wanting to hang around you because of her. <laughs> you need to cut that off. Like, for real, for real. Like, y'all got people in y'all lives y'all know should be there. And y'all got every excuse on why they should. And the bad does not outweigh the, the, the good does not outweigh the bad. That'd be the fucked up part about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> for real though, the good does not outweigh the bad when it comes to that be the fucked up part about that shit. Like, for real. Like, <laughs> y'all be friends with folks and, and family relationship with folks that means you no good whatsoever. Right? Not at all. Like, I don't under, I'm not understanding that part of it. And you know what I'm saying? I, I am a person that give chances. I do. I do give chances because I'd be like, maybe, you know. But when you constantly doing some shit and you feel like because I ain't saying nothing or I'm letting you back in, you're gonna keep doing the shit. No. No, no, I don't, I don't do, I don't, mm -mm. I'm cut you off. My cut off game is stronger than that bitch, because when I cut you off, when I cut you off, cut you off, ain't no coming back. You dead to me. <laughs> ain't no coming back. And that what people don't understand, because everybody I cut off have tried to come back into my life. If I cut you off, cut you off, ain't no coming back. So you have to watch how you handle me. And you have to watch how you treat me. And you have to, and I do the same. I give everybody the utmost respect. I'm a vault when it comes to people. Like, I got so many secrets from people. I'm a vault. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm that person people talk to and tell everything to. Like, that, that's me because I'm supposed to be the, if you talking to me, you're supposed to trust me. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to uh trust what I say what you say to me stays there you know what I'm saying so yeah I'm I'm a, I and I expect the same but so many people be like uh so many people be like everybody not like you and that's fine I know that I know that I'm one of a fucking kind It's only one Kiana J. <laughs> it's only one me. I'm different. <laughs> I'm very different. <laughs> you know, I know that. But everybody has loyalty. Everybody should know what loyalty is. Everybody should know what trust is. Again, I'm, I used to be an active full-time gang member. What you think? Loyalty and respect don't come with the territory? No, it does. <laughs> That's some of the points of the star. That's the shit we live by. <laughs> right? So, of course, I take that fucking seriously. Like, I still take that seriously to this day. I still incorporate that in my life. I take that seriously from other people. <laughs> like, duh. <laughs> Y'all got life fucked up. But I just want to get on here. Y'all know y'all was inspecting the guests. 
which was Sean Hinton. He was supposed to be my guest tonight, and he had to reschedule because he had a last-minute show. So he did reschedule with me, which I am excited to interview him. Um, musician, artist, he used to uh, be the guitarist for Mary J. Blige. Now he has an album out and an uh, EP out. So we're going to talk about all that. Um, I also am um, doing a, a Miss Greasy um, upcoming. She's an upcoming content creator. Uh her following is growing fast and I'm trying to catch see I'll be trying to catch people before they get all big and famous you know what I'm saying before they get real big and famous and stop answering answering your inboxes yeah I'm trying to do that you know what I'm saying so I can already have that interview you know on deck so when they do become big and famous I can replay it <laughs> you know <laughs> yes I'll put my ducks in a row, y'all. Because, you know, when people become big fans, you know, they be acting like they don't fuck with you like that. You know what I'm saying? They don't fuck with the little people like that. I'm catching my shit before because I know these people, these folks. I'm also interviewing uh, Simeon, Arthur, personal trainer, photographer. I just read his book, Very Good, Note to Self. That boy going places. I'm going to interview him, too. He got one coming up, too. So it's a lot of interviews coming up that I'm doing. I'm doing a first responder interview. Once I get this nigga on the same page. <laughs> with, so we can talk about getting that interview set up. I'm getting, I, I want to play tribute to them because they put their lives on the line for us and for these folks. And... You know, they don't get the recognition that they supposed to get. So I want to do that interview with them. So I got a lot of great stuff coming up for you guys this season. Uh, me and the girls. I'm going to get the girls back for one or two episodes. Y'all, the girls are your favorite episodes. Get the girls back, you know, for a few episodes. You know, I don't know if I'm going to do them. I'll do one episode uh, virtually or do an episode when I go back to Milwaukee in the studio. Uh, so definitely the girls are coming back. The girls are coming back. You know, I, I'm still, I got a lot of things I do want to talk about. So y'all gonna see a lot of um, videos with just me too, you know, um, and stuff uh, with my friends uh, and things of that nature and stuff. So we're doing, still doing that. I'm trying to do d different things this season. Simple fact is because we gonna still talk about the important stuff, but I noticed my podcast is being jacked. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I noticed that people are taking my is taking my content. I noticed that, and I'm flattered that they are pulling from. I am flattered. But we all can't do the same thing. <laughs> you know? We all can't do the same thing. So um, I'm trying to figure out different ways to, you know, uh, reinvent the podcast and stuff like that. So I don't really have a team yet, but I'm slowly building one. I just um, joined IPP for a... Uh, advertisement and stuff like that, promotions and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm a part of that team and stuff like that. So once I get a team of people I can trust that's committed to helping me with ideas and stuff for my podcast and things like that, we can um, go in um, different directions. But I am trying to figure out what makes me stand out now. Because at first, I was standing out. But if people doing the same content as me, um, that means I don't stand out anymore, right? So what can I do different? And that's what I'm working on. Now, like, where can I go different? Where can I be different? You know, I, I'm, I, I'm always different. I just feel like when I see my content on other people's podcasts, it just be like, I'm flattered, but I'm kind of irritated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, 
Like, we all can't do the same shit. So, uh, it lets me know that people are watching. And it lets me know that, you know, it helps. Because when I first started, I saw some people, you know, stuff in the beginning. Like, you know what I'm saying? But once I came into my own, you know, I started doing things my way and stuff like that. So, I understand. Like, I understand. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a little irritating a little bit, but I'm flattered. But now I have to figure out what to do next. You know, because, again, we all can't have the same content. You know what I'm saying? And you can only talk about relationship stuff for so long. Like, everybody's talking about that. Like, everybody got different opinions. Black men don't really like black women like that. We get it. We fucking get it. Y'all don't like us. We get that. You know? It was um something on the internet. Like, uh, we don't need women no more because men can men have men uh menstrual cycles and, and have babies and i said what in the fuck so we're just not useful at all like women is just being pushed on out the way <laughs> like real women and i say real women that was born with a cooch and, and boobies and a whole uh womb and a star mix and all that Stuff. I'm talking about us is we really being pushed <laughs> to the side <laughs> because everybody, a lot of men want want to be known as women. And so now they are discrediting us as women, like we're not of value anymore. Like we're we're not. What do y'all have that they so what do y'all have that we don't have? You know, we can do everything y'all can do. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. And it's it's becoming a normal that real women are really not needed anymore. So so when y'all get out here and be like, y'all too independent and this and that and this and that, y'all don't want us anyway. <laughs> Y'all fucking mean to us. Y'all treat us like we don't, we ain't shit. Y'all talk down on us. Y'all don't protect us. Y'all don't take care of us. Y'all don't provide. Y'all don't do none of this shit. But these women that's coming in with built on cooch, uh, new boobies and stuff like that. And getting wounds and stuff inserted into them so they can have kids. Y'all can't even tell the difference. That, that Let's start there. <laughs> Y'all can't even... <laughs> I'm going to take them back. Y'all can't even tell the difference <laughs> between a real woman and one that's built with the new cooch. <laughs> we don't say that. But that's the whole dumb conversation. I don't care. Like I said, y'all can y'all can try to cancel me before I even get up there. <laughs> but I'ma speak my fucking bad because this is this is getting out of control. <laughs> this is getting outrageous. <laughs> let y'all know uh i just wanted to start my season off uh with me i was supposed to start off with a guest but again he had to reschedule but i want to start the season off with me um uh, back to the basics y'all know i started my podcast it was just me talking to you guys so you know sometimes i go back to the basics because y'all y'all gotta see me you know say so y'all ain't seen me in a long time you know Yeah, you know, I 
I appreciate that. Man, I'm going to be out in these streets having it out, you know. But uh, I appreciate, you know, the support. I appreciate the new people that's coming to my life helping me with this. You know what I'm saying? That's popping up and be like, I want to, you know, work with you. You know, I got to set up a, a podcast with a guy. He's like, he do a podcast too. He's like, we got to work together. So, yeah, me and him going to get on here. We just got to figure out the topic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, me and him, you know, I don't know him, but, you know, we're going to have that communication where we're going to see where we're going with it, you know? So everybody that's popping up and seeing me and like, you know, I want to work with you. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> that's what's up. I'm, I'm flattered. I'm very yeah, I'm doing something right. That's that's what's up. But I'm about to go out and I cook dinner. I gotta get ready for work. I want to tell y'all, I love y'all. If nobody told y'all today, because y'all know what I'm about to say. If nobody told y'all today, I'm gonna tell you. I love you. And that's it for me. Bye. You know, yeah. That's talking cheap with Kiana J. It's over with, you know. Yeah. Okay, so that's over with. Uh, I want to leave this. All right. Bye.